What's up guys? John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today I want to talk about do abs matter? Okay, a lot of us are like, oh, I need to get the fucking summer abs. I need to get shredded, right? Do girls give a fuck? Okay. And what should your body fat goal be, your body fat percentage goal be in general? Okay. So there's some studies here. Um, I'll pop up on the screen. Uh, women tend to prefer guys with a little bit of showing abs, but that look healthy. Basically, like the general rule is um, what these studies found. I'll put the link to the article in the description below. There's a whole bunch of studies that are covered. Basically, um, the women are the most attracted to guys that appear the healthiest, okay? First off here, let me just, uh, before I go into the exact percentages, let me read some quotes from some of these studies. Um, when they ask why they found some physiques more attractive than others, these are direct quotes, okay, from these studies. It looks the most natural slash normal, okay? It looks healthy and not overdone. We use the term try hard in the pickup artist community when a guy is trying too hard, right? If he's trying to say like, look, I have a Lamborghini, therefore I have a lot of money. Or like, look, I have I have this. Are you impressed? If a guy is like very clearly like a muscle head or like a beefcake or whatever the fucking term you want to use, right? That only attracts a small subset of chicks, okay? Contrary to proper belief. Like most guys think like the bigger you get, the stronger you get, the better. Chicks, like listen to these quotes. The most natural, healthy and not overdone. Fit but not overdone. I don't find particularly defined abdominal muscles nice looking. I don't like overly defined abs. It's less natural looking. He isn't disgustingly ripped, not excessively ripped, not too over, overboard in fitness. Healthy tone, but not too much. The others are a little too intense. Looks healthy, young, and not overly defined. The abs don't pop out as much. It looks like more of a body of someone who is fit because of a sport, as opposed to someone who does it for looks. Okay, so if you're fucking working out to be, and I'll, I'll put these pictures up here. Um, women, like in the in the the first picture here that I'll show, and we'll put it over to the side over here. Um, women, sixty three percent of them preferred the guy on the far left that had a body fat of thirteen percent. Okay, the next guy in line actually is Ryan Reynolds in this example. And then in the next picture, 82% um, of women chose the guy with the body fat of 14% on the far left. Okay, so it doesn't, more muscle isn't always better and more defined abs and muscles is not always better. The point is, the general conclusion is, this guy, after surveying a whole bunch of studies, he says, if he had to put a number on it, given all the research, he'd say the most attractive male body fat percentage, okay, if you're if you're look if your goal is to be attractive to women, is around 11 to 15 percent, okay, in that range. Now, how do you uh, measure body fat percentage? Okay, you can get Fat calipers on Amazon, that's the most reliable, but they also have those scales. I just use one of those scales that measures your body fat percentage. Even if it's not like super, super accurate, it's accurate enough and can be used as a benchmark from week to week or month to month. Now, if you want to um, lose body fat, this could be a whole topic for another video, but essentially it's all a math equation, okay? So... You gain a pound for every 3,500 caloric surplus. You lose a pound for every 3,500 caloric deficit. Okay? So the general rule, since there's seven days in a week, you can add 500 calories or subtract 500 calories from a particular day of the week, and that should cause you to gain or lose a pound over the course of that week. Now, if you do something called intermittent fasting, which the basic explanation is you only eat within a certain window. All right? The, the popular one is an eight-hour window. You just eat between 12 p.m. and 8 p.m. 
the rest of the time you're in a fasted state. During that 20 hour, uh, or sorry, 16 hour uh, fasted state, that's when your body is going to be burning fat for energy, okay? So if your body fat is too high, which is probably most of your problem, so that, unless you're like a super gym rat, uh, and you need to actually gain some body fat up so that you're, because your abs are showing too much based on these studies, uh, in order to lose body fat, reduce the amount of calories, and then do the intermittent fasting. And you will see, basically you just have to like adhere strongly to that maximum amount of calories for the day. Okay, and of course, incorporating the HIIT, the high intensity interval training helps as well. Just Google, um, I'm not a fucking fitness expert, but those are the basics. Google uh, intermittent fasting combined with high intensity interval training, HIIT, combined with caloric deficit. Okay, and it will tell you an exact plan so that you can lose body fat from week to week. But I just thought this was interesting because I've had chicks, like, I've showed them pictures of, like, really, really muscular dudes over the years or, like, really, like, ripped dudes. And lots of them think it's overdone and think it's too much. And, like, even, like, the size that I am right now, I'm, like, 210 pounds at six foot four. Like, a lot of chicks, like, when I'm, like, my rotation or different chicks I bang, when I'm naked, they're, like, I tell a lot of them, I'd be really honest, I've asked tons of girls about this. They're like, don't get any bigger. Like, I have a, a decent amount of muscle right now, and they're like, don't get any bigger because then you'll be too big, right? And, and I, by any conventional standards, I don't look like some, like, fucking, like, powerhouse. Like, I don't look like some big jack dude. But this is about all you need. This is, like, a healthy, athletic, I have the V-shaped frame, right? Like, I have the wide shoulders, okay? And you can get the... You can get this wideness in your shoulders by working on your back, okay, doing pull-ups, doing shrugs to get this up with your traps, okay, um, etc. Compound for your exercises. I'm not going to turn this into a fitness video, but all you really need is like a decent frame, right, and don't be overweight and don't be too skinny, right? Like, and that's, and th this is going to be an added bonus for you. I tell guys... More often than not, the problem is your game. But this is a threshold thing, and this this is like a gonna bring more value to the table. All right, if you have the frame, if you can fill out a shirt, then that's going to give you an advantage. Okay, you're always trying to optimize your position and give yourself the best advantage. So make sure you. It's not a too long an article. It has a whole bunch of good diagrams and studies and this kinds of things. Click the link. Um, in the description below to take a look at that full article but I am in the process of cutting down some of my body fats and I happen to run into this research and I, I found this interesting um, kind of an anecdotal point there's a guy on I was I was looking on the bodybuilding forums just for like a goal uh, weight and body fat percentage for my height I'm six foot four and there's a guy that's like six three and a quarter and he was saying that he's been all different, like he's like a, he's, you know, like a serious lifter. But he's been all different weights and body fat percentages over the course of the years. And he said, <laughs> I wish I would have actually saved. It's <laughs> he, he was saying like as he got like bigger and bigger, he said like a lot of women were becoming like scared. And then, and then like women thought he was like some kind of like fucking freak or something once he got too big. But he said the sweet spot was around 10% body fat at 215 pounds. Okay, at six foot four. But in general, like this, like it says in this study, um, I mean, this is also, a lot of this is subjective, but there's ranges. Okay, this guy's saying 11 to 15% in a bunch of these studies where the girls had to choose who was the hottest guy. A lot of them are choosing guys that are like 13 or 14 percent body fat, rather than someone with lower percent body fat. But one thing we can agree on is that if you're like in the, you know, 15 to 20 percent plus body fat range, you need to bring that down, okay? Because then you're going to look overweight. So, and that's 
if, if you look on Wikipedia, in America, for instance, it says that 76% of the general public is overweight. I'm not sure where they, where they draw the threshold for that. But, you know, having lived in countries like Poland and Ukraine, it's like nine day difference. Like, it's very rare to encounter someone that's overweight. So, I will leave you with that. I hope this is helpful. I went a bit all over the place. Um, I am going to be this, this brand, this John Anthony lifestyle brand, is going to incorporate uh, fitness, martial arts, uh, mastering business, um, fashion and style, all these different things. I'm focusing on the core stuff with dating. We're rolling out the mentorship program in January. And I'm hiring, I'm an, I also have a whole bunch of dating experts on the team that are the top guys I know in the game. And then um, I'm going to be hiring experts that are going to be under my brand that are going to be able to educate you guys on all these other areas of men, total man optimization. Okay. So then, you know, they can speak intelligently on these things because all these things are going to lead to a more fulfilling, balanced, happy life, maximizing what you bring to the table as a man, what you bring to the table even in your dating life. Okay, these are all pillars. Okay, you need to get your game rock solid, but all these other things support and kind of turn you into the full package guy. Okay, that women are going to want to be around for the long term. Okay, and you're going to have lasting value rather than a bunch of just little cheap game parlor tricks. Okay, so hope this was helpful, guys. Please like and subscribe if you have not already. Please like the comment or like the video and comment if it was helpful. And I will see you guys on the next video. And I will have um, my mentorship video probably ready to roll out early January. We've been working hard on that. Okay. Thank you guys very much. Uh, make sure to check out the article for more details in the description below. Take care.